Early to mid wipe Tarkov can be a strange place. Is that PP19 with PST ammo still good enough? How about an OPSKS with PS ammo? In some cases, the answer is certainly yes. However, when you want to take things a step further without the crazy price tag, you can't do much better than the RFB. Let's take a look at a relatively inexpensive, easy build that will have you destroying chads well into the mid and late wipe. I'm Gaz, welcome to the channel. If you find this video helpful, a like and a positive comment for the algorithm would be much appreciated. Let's take a look at the mini chad killer. You'll see as I build this gun in the preset screen that there isn't a whole lot you can do to this gun in terms of things like different stocks and rails. But this isn't necessarily a bad thing as it makes the RFB a place to start for novice weapon builders. Let's start with the magazine. You've got a choice of four here. Stay away from the 10 and 30 round magazines. 10s aren't really big enough and you'll never really need 30 rounds without it being safe enough to reload a 20 for another 20. Of the 20 rounders, the plastic version has a better ergo penalty of minus 2 versus minus 5 and also comes with a 10% bonus to repacking ammo which is golden for this kind of weapon. Both 20 rounders are similar in price so this isn't really a tough consideration. You can buy the plastic mags from Mechanic Level 2 for 3.4k and you should buy two of these. When it comes to the muzzle there are a few different considerations here. You do find to leave this out of stock if you want to go even more budget but we're going to go with the spacer and DT mount with a hybrid 46 suppressor on top. The spacer and DT mount don't negatively or positively impact ergo or recoil which is great. The hybrid 46 suppressor reduces loudness by 22 and recoil by 9.5% while increasing muzzle velocity by 0.5. Unfortunately, it also reduces ergo by 14 and adds a durability burn to the gun of 72%, though this is unlikely to hamper the gun in any way. You can usually grab these pieces from the flea market for around 50k. If you do buy the hybrid 46 suppressor from Peacekeeper, you'll be paying significantly more for it. Sights are a personal preference here depending on your playstyle. I personally like compact red dots like the MRS or PK06, but short and long scopes can be used on the RFB depending on how close quarters you expect to be. If you're planning on close quarters action, just be aware that you can't use a laser on this gun unless you use a weird combination of mounts or other scopes. The ammo we're going with for this build is 60 rounds of M80. 7.62x51 is a very strong ammo, as even all the way down to the lower ammos, it will still pen high tier armour consistently. M80 specifically has 80 damage and 41 pen, capable of getting through everything up to tier 4 on the first shot over 80% of the time, with follow up shots making this almost a certainty for tier 5 armours. Durability burn of 30% isn't too bad for such a strong ammo either. 60 rounds of this will set you back $180 from Peacekeeper or around 30k rubles on the flea market though as always prices do fluctuate especially as more people begin hitting level 20. Load up your 2 mags from earlier with 40 of these rounds and place 20 in your secure container or backpack for mag packing. And lastly onto the foregrip. The best option here for price and performance is the Magpul MLOC AFG. Colour doesn't matter just make sure you're getting the cheapest one. This foregrip will give you an extra 6 ergo and minus 2% recoil for around 10,000 rubles. So this is the build I'm recommending. All told you can expect to pick up all the pieces of this weapon from both the flea market and traders for between 130 and 150k, which isn't bad for a gun that will remain very decent even into the late wipe. Of course, if this is too steep for you, leave the suppressor and mounting kit behind for a much more reasonable 80 to 100k build. Again, remember these prices are bound to fluctuate as more players open up the flea market. Here's a look at the RFB item window with the build in it so you can get a better idea of weight, recoil and ergo for this gun as it's built here. And finally, enjoy some gameplay of this mini chad killer at the end here too. If you found this build helpful, leave a like and a positive comment to show your support for what I do on the channel. Subscribe if you're new and never miss a new video. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.